I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the founder of the church I served as a bishop. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many others have made a similar journey into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about, people who want to share their story. So if you're a Latter-day Saint seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I appreciate you joining with us. Really pleased today to introduce to you Travis Nelson. Travis, thanks for coming down. Thanks for having down me. Down south on. here and, <laughs> and sharing your story. I really appreciate it. And we're going to get no to problem. hear some music from Travis and a little bit later. And so I'm excited to hear your story. And So as we kind of often do, where, where were you born and raised? Right here in Salt Lake City. Where are you? I was born and raised. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was... Uh, so born in Salt Lake, and um, my dad was in the Air Force, so we ended up up, up Mountain Home, Idaho. Oh, yeah, there was a big um, Air Force base up there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and when he left Mountain Home, he came back here to, to Utah and to uh, Hill divorced Air Force my base, his, oh. his first wife, my mom, yeah. Oh. So oh. Uh, he left the, you know, the Air Force, of course. Yeah. And um, uh, I stayed with him and my other two siblings went with my mother to California Oh. Um, later on. And um, so my mom and dad now, my stepmom and my dad yeah. and my three brothers, um, I was ingrained in the LDS church. Mm. So I'm born, 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 born and raised born in the LDS yeah. church. Yeah. Just always active and yep. everything, baptized yep. at age eight, I guess. And I wasn't. I was Where? baptized at 11. Oh. They call that a yeah. convert, don't they? I think yeah, anybody... I, I was a... So I guess I would be a convert, but I was born into the LDS church. Yeah. In your own mind, you were born into the church. Yeah. 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 You know, because my... I felt like I was because my mother and, you know, my dad... Was my, you know, my mom was his first wife. Yeah. They were married in the LDS temple. Okay. The Salt Lake temple. Yeah. So... Um, I was kind of born in the church, I guess. And it, no, was there any question in your mind ever that the church was not the only true church as you were growing up? Um, I mean, you just assumed as that I was, was growing up. No, yeah, that, that was. Yeah. Um, it wasn't in, as important to me later on as it was my other siblings. Oh, you know, from my dad's second marriage, uh -huh. my half brothers. Oh, I look him, look at them as my full brothers, <laughs> but yeah, you know, because I basically raised. You know, raised them. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah, you know, not raised them, but right. you know, right. grew up with them. Sure. So, now you became um, a deacon, and I became a deacon. Um, I I actually made it up to priest. Oh, did you? Okay. I was ordained a priest, and then kind of fell away from the church. Still uh, had a testimony of Joseph Smith and and everything in the church. Yeah. I just felt like I wasn't worthy to. Do really? the things that they were doing. Yeah. You know, I wanted that at certain points in my life, but I just felt like it was easier just not to go. But something was telling me that I needed to get back in so, into the church. Yeah. Because you felt like this was the yeah the I felt right like way it, to it go. But, the, yes, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I thought um, I needed to, you know, do it. <laughs> I needed <laughs> to do it with the church to yeah. make it right with God. Yeah. So you were you actually took seminary? Um, you, yes, took seminary? yeah, I took se seminary and I really enjoyed it in junior yeah. high. Yeah, um, I had some good teachers in seminary and junior high. Um, I think it was one or two years in high school. Okay, I didn't finish seminary. Seminary. So I went out to California uh, to live with my mother for a year or so Is out that there during high school. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. Uh, didn't see any LDS people out there. You didn't? My mother was not LDS. So. Oh, okay. You know, later I come to find out that there was a lot of LDS people out there. Well, I would think so. Yeah, California, but, a lot of... But I didn't, you know, didn't see any. I didn't, never even saw a chapel. Yeah. 
when they did the Oxnard you area. You didn't go to any cat Christian churches, or no. did you? Just no, no, no religion at all. No basically. religion at all. Yeah. Well, so what happens next? Do you? Oh boy! Um, <laughs> after high school, I guess. After high school, um, I got married about twenty-one. Oh, you did. had okay. two kids. Yeah, we both have kids now. Oh, really? So yeah. you're a grandpa, huh? How about I'm that? I'm a grandpa. I love it. And was I this in it. the church, or, I mean, were they, um, was she LDS, or? My kids are raised in the LDS church. Oh, good. I baptized my my son. You did? Which was a great experience. Yeah. And, um, but, and uh, my daughter is actually the one that got me going back into church. So... And now, she was about 10 or 11, probably. How did she do that? And she why? She was just going faithfully. Every she week, was. she loved it. Really? And I thought, man, I got, I've got to be, I, I was doing things that were not right, you know. Picked up some it, bad habits or something. Yeah, picked up some bad habits. <laughs> and, Sweet. you know, I thought, you know, I need, I need to set a better example. And what'd she say? So, so she, she just she was, was going? And... Yeah, so she was setting the example <laughs> for me. So I thought, I decided I was going to go. Yeah. And uh, I started reading the Book of Mormon. You know, started reading the Book of Mormon. Didn't touch the Bible. It was all Book of Mormon. Yeah. Joseph Smith. You know, all the prophets. You yeah. Know, everything that they they teach. In the you church. started studying yeah. that, and, and yeah. uh, I felt that was the way to go. You know, it was, it sure. was the Book of Mormon. I didn't start with the Bible. No. And um, I had a great testimony of it. Of you know. the Book of Mormon. And, oh, yeah. And yeah. the prophet and mm -hmm. the church and everything mm -hmm. else, yeah. Yeah, and uh, um, I'm trying trying to think of it. I don't want to get off track of what, the, what we were talking <laughs> about. But um, as far as going back to church, yeah. Uh, when my daughter started, you know, got me back in, um, I did every, everything, went and took out my endowments. I had to wait a oh, couple of years and not taking the sacrament, and that was horrible for me. To not take the sacrament? I remember or? the day that I took the sacrament yeah. for the first time, <laughs> and I think I cried for half the day. Because it was so, yeah, so it was important. Yeah, so important to me. Well, not to get into details, but the, the, when you w decided to go back, you confessed, I guess, to the bishop mm -hmm. certain things, and he set yeah. you on that two years. Yeah, it was two years. <laughs> That's a long time. To <laughs> yeah, it was, well... It was probably closer to a year and a half, but it was two years by the time I got my endowments. Wow. By the time I went to the temple. Yeah. What did you think of the temple at that point? It was interesting. Yeah. I was kind of one of those, like with the rest of them, kind of deer in the headlights. <laughs> like, now, what did I get okay. into here? <laughs> yeah. Didn't really, You're just it's hard kind of to understand. Going along but, with the flow. You, you don't right. understand any of it. Yeah. Your first time. You really don't. Yeah. If anybody says they do, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with that. Did you go back and. Try no. To, never you, did. You never only did. Only went the one time. Really? Yeah. Never went back again. I I stayed with the church and, you know, paying tight, full time and all that. Um, for well, so they made you an elder. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. They, they made did. you an elder, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Um, and I told you, I, I was actually serving in positions as an elder before I was even an elder. <laughs> oh, before they were danger. Yeah. 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 Well, they just, but, well, yeah. you were making good progress, I guess. Yeah, and they probably because like, I, I was so involved. Yeah. You know, I, want, I was just eating it up. And the full, you know, I just, had a testimony of Joseph Smith and mm -hmm. the Book of Mormon and everything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. uh. So you say you were only active though for a little while after that? Yeah, we we ended up moving um, not too much further away. You know, it, still in the Salt Lake area, and um, the the new church it just didn't just didn't seem the same. The new ward that you were yeah, in. Yeah, oh. yeah. I just something happened, and <laughs> I can, I really can't the remember people what it or was. what do you? It, I don't I don't know if it was so much the people or. Yeah. You know, it it was turned around, so you know, sacrament was at the end of the day, yeah. and it was later in the evening. Oh, um, so it was just it was just different for me, and I think it only took maybe a month or so of not going to church, and just slowly slipping away from that and getting back into my old habits. Oh, and I really didn't find Jesus until 
quite some time later down the road. Well, maybe that's a good question. While you were coming back to the church and going through the temple, did was Jesus a part of that process, or was it more the church and the Book uh, of Mormon? He was and... a huge part of. I mean, I, I think um, he was. How, how would I put it? Um, you know, be, because I thought of him as my older brother. Yeah, <laughs> which he was way? more of. A, someone that I went to for encouragement, oh. I guess. Yeah. Not someone that I went to with my, with my, coming to and say, you know, I know you did it all for me. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. It was, you didn't go to I gotta God. do this, yeah. you know. Yeah. You, I know you came here to show me how to do it. Yeah. Set a good you example. Know, and so, yes. Yeah. And now that I know, <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> a big difference, huh? Yeah. Well, during this period, after right after you'd gone through the temple and, and being in the church, you you had a sense that the church was the only true church. Yes. Okay. So what happens to kind of break that down? Just not going to church in this from the new ward? Um, I mean, you just didn't feel like you fit into the new ward, I guess. Yeah. And the know, way they I, have it set up, you can't go to another, you can't go back to your old church. You have to go to your geographic area yeah you know I I ended up um, leaving my first wife shortly after that okay and, and that had some impact I'm yeah sure. yeah and I was doing a lot of things that I shouldn't have been doing yeah and uh, I it was probably a year or so um, where I finally got back to where you know I needed to go back to church. Okay. You know I knew that I was still LDS. Right. Um, even though I knew, you know, the things I was doing was wrong. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, I met my my wife now. Um, while I was still LDS, inactive. Okay. Um, was she active? LDS. Yes. Okay. Yes. And. Uh, Did she bring you back? Um. Yes. Okay. Yeah. In fact, we were. Um, I want to talk a whole lot about it. Yeah. That's but, all right. Um, yeah, That's we were, okay. we we're planning on getting married in the temple. And yeah. Okay. All those things. So it was really, you know, coming out has been extraordinarily hard for me. So what actually happened then? Um, so we moved out to North Carolina. Mm. Um, she had some property out there that we didn't want to foreclose on, so I went out to fix it up. Hmm. And we put so much time and money into fixing it, we decided to move. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we were about a half hour away from the church there okay. in Jacksonville. Yeah. And we were, we were going, um, not every week, you know, but we were going. And um, I started watching Sean Craney. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I was looking um, before that. Yeah. You know, because I knew that the, th the church had some dirty history. Was this kind of eye-opening then? Yeah, huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it was especially his episode, I think it was 89, where he just broke it down. Yeah. You know, and it just solidified everything. It started making sense. Yeah. Huh? But, you know, it was a rough way out for me because I was taking a lot of the same approach he was with my family and things like that. And I know he even said it on his program. Do not do this the way I am, you know. Because this is for TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you did anyway. But, oh, I was so bitter. I was so bitter, Earl. And uh, Did it start making sense, kind of though, when you started it. into seeing yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't take long, yeah. especially once you start reading the Bible. And, well, and, reading um, the Bible, reading interesting. Paul's and Paul's letters, it's just incredible. I know, it's just amazing what's in there, and, and we just don't read them as Mormons, mm -hmm. do we, or study them. One thing I wanted to bring out, you, you brought your Bible okay. here, and the reason I pointed out is that your grandma gave this to you yes. when you were made El Deacon's Quorum President, right? Yes, yeah. And you said, told me that a year ago or so, yes. this was brand new. Yes, <laughs> looked like it hadn't been touched. It hadn't <laughs> been touched in all these years, yeah. even though grandma gave it to you, Yeah. and now in the last little bit. 
Anyway, so let's let's slip back. You, you or do you want to share that scripture sure. that you had for sure. you? This is a. When did this hit you? When did this scripture hit you? Um, this was af probably a year ago. Now you've um, come back from North Carolina. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What happened was I was um, driving truck for a living. Okay. That's what I do. I'm a truck driver and truck driving singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always been involved with music, but it's um, been something that, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that, that could be a whole other show. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was about a year ago, I really started digging into the Bible, you know, after I started watching show and shows and, yeah. and different things. And, and um, uh, this was a verse that really, uh, one of many, but basically, you know, it's Paul writing to the Romans and it's saying, for I bear witness, uh, it's, it's Romans 10. Um, it says, for I bear witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. Um, for they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God, which is in Christ. Isn't that amazing? So, uh, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Romans is so, so yeah. fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, and if you read through Romans 8, it's just like, <laughs> wow. Well, so tell yeah. us real quickly, what, from North Carolina, how did you start transit? You, you started not going to churches often there. And, and, and so did you start going to a Christian church at ever, or how did? Oh, uh, that's a good question. What, what kind of brought you to? To what brought, brought you out of the church, so to speak, and into? Um, I just, it was my own conscience. I just couldn't, I couldn't go back to a church that Christ had freed me from, you know. Oh, yeah. And it was like I was telling him, you know what, um, you did was good enough, but I still got to go back and prove myself. I'm sorry. Yeah. And that's just... As Mormons, we don't really do understand grace, do we? we it's a gospel understand. of grace. Yeah. It is. And this free gift that he's given us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's sad because I think even, like originally when this book was put together, James almost didn't make it because Luther, he was a big fan of grace. Yeah. He was huge in grace. Yeah. And if he would have only understood what James was actually was saying. trying to say about words, you know, yeah. I'm sure, I, I mean, his knowledge blows <laughs> anybody away, but I'm just saying it, that, if that just somebody like that, yeah. you know, that knows the Bible and, and knows the gospel of grace, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, that works part of it is is something that you'll always battle with LDS people. Well, I guess I'm curious about, and, and then we're going to have you play a song for us. No but problem. I was curious, did you have like a born again moment, or I guess I'm trying to get to that moment when you just said, okay, I, I, I'm just curious, did you just start reading the Bible and it just spoke to you and this stuff with Sean and everything else just kind of led you to um, the, to, a led lot you of it to was this? other people's testimonies and them coming out. Oh, really? Saying, hey, look at this and look at that. Yeah, okay. And, you know. Okay. Um, that was huge. And, you know, and your coming out in your testimony was huge for oh, me. Oh, you heard that. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. It oh. really helped me a lot. Oh, right. Praise and God. People, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know that just what you do. I really want to thank you. Oh, no. What you do. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's been quite the journey and all in God's. God's good grace. Well, why don't you go ahead and play for us? So okay. tell us a little bit about your music. You, you, you write your own music and you sing and uh, there's a website, right, that they can yeah, go to? Yeah, I started at singingpraise.org. Uh, uh, right now it's on Facebook, but it will be up, you know, by the time this airs, it will be okay. up and going. Is so it singing it praises out. or singing praise? Singing praise. Singingpraise.org. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hoping to get other people's music on it and different things like that. Just good Christian music yeah. and other well, yeah, people that are local and good. you know that want to share their music that, so they have an avenue to go through yeah. for people to hear it. 
Well, I think these songs are um, so. so it's not just about me. Yeah. You know. Songs are so impactful, and, and the words oh, and praising. And that's one thing I noticed going to the Christian church for the first time was how it's praising Jesus all alone and not praising man and, mm -hmm. and all the other things. So let's go ahead and okay. hear your. Then we'll talk a little bit more about your journey. Okay. Is there a title to this song? Um, this was actually one of the first songs I wrote um, uh, coming out. And uh, um, it's called When I Call Out Your Name. When I Call Out Your Name. Mm -hmm. And I might. And I look to the sun. And I feel of your grace For all the love that is in me It shines on my face Your light Cause I'm here to proclaim Any virtue that's in me It's all yours to take Thank you Jesus My Lord and my King Praise to the God who fulfilled everything your life Cause I'm here open. And I know that it's led me Right here to this place When I call out your name Thank you Jesus Well I'm never alone When I'm on my knees in your life Cause I know it's your grace And I know that it's led me right here to this place And praise to the God who's in all of us Who won't ever let us down Raise up your hands, cry out to the Lord And He'll lift your soul up off the ground Thank you Jesus My Lord and my King And praise to the God Who fulfilled everything You're alive To know your grace And I know that it's led me Right here to this place when I call out your name Thank you, Jesus When I call out your name Thank you, Jesus That's fantastic. Thanks. Proud of you. My throat was really dry. <laughs> I should have taken some drink. water before. <laughs> took a drink apologize before. for that. No, no, no. <clears throat> that was wonderful. I, I don't even know. I mean, I can hear the words that you're saying, but but the joy that you feel, yeah. that we feel, in comparison to what we knew before. And I don't mm -hmm. think I don't think Mormons appreciate what transition and what transformation is in our heart. You were mentioning earlier that Jesus was your elder brother. Yes. Now he's your king, your God. Yeah, exactly. We worship him. He's everything. <laughs> and I don't know how to, how do we put that in words? I mean, it's, it's so impactful, isn't it? Um, one thing I did want to make sure I, s I share, you know, with you yeah. in the program is we're willing to put aside ourselves and the right, any righteousness that we would have. Because we realize it's all Him. Isn't that beautiful? And as a Mormon, you can't, it's, it's not something that's in your, that you think of. Well, no, we're, we're trying to be perfect. We're trying to be, yeah. We're trying to work out our own righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. And I think if they, if they only see that, um, because you know as well as I do, there's no better people than LDS people as far as Absolutely. Far, I mean, Great giving people. you gracious and just beautiful people. Yeah, they are. Um, when it happens, it happens. <laughs> and it's on God's time. And to answer your question, 
what you I didn't answer before. There was a moment when I told God, you know, because I went through a time where I just wanted it to be over, you know, and I told God, I, I need to know. And he showed me in his time. It, it wasn't right at that moment. Mm -hmm. But over the course of that year, he just brought everything to light. Mm -hmm. I mean, Fantastic. I mean, I look at this. I, know. I mean, I just, I, I just went, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus crazy, you know, I just thought, wow. And thank you never you, thought Lord. you never thank thought you. that would happen, did you? I mean no. like, years ago no. would you have ever thought you'd be singing praises to Jesus no. and no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm a country singer. Yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah you, I can tell a little country in there. So now all I do is write Christian music. I mean over the last I've wrote probably fifteen Christian songs and it's still going. You know, I could write <laughs> Probably a new song every day if I really concentrate on it. Yeah. There's just so much, you know. And it's all praising. Yeah. Praising what he did. And again, you know, so many Mormons think that, uh, well, first of all, Jesus isn't that important, number one. I, I know it's strange to say that, but they don't think that. And then, and then they don't really have an appreciation. They think Christians are just lazy or that, that, we're, that we're just uh, taking the easy way that, out. Yeah, that's, an issue. that's for the reason why I brought up James. You know, because we take the Gospel of James seriously. You know, because we take work seriously because we're doing them for Him and His name for His righteousness, not our own. Yeah. You know, and He gets the glory. We're, it, He told us to lay up our treasures in heaven. You know, take up your cross. You know, what take up your cross means yeah. is you deny yourself for someone else. That's what He did for us. Yeah. And, and that's the example He set. Yeah. And, so. And did for us what we couldn't do for ourselves because oh, we are boy. sinners. Exactly. And don't you feel a freedom now? The guilt is off, all the shame and guilt. Um, I do have to say that's something I still struggle with. Do you really? Still. You, but it is. A, it's, there is a freedom you d yeah. to to realize that he's paid for those sins and. Yeah. You know, I was, I was listening to you talking to Bill McKeever, and he said that's how he, he would get a lot of the Mormons. Is, do you really? accept in your heart you know that you and you know that was one thing that I still have a hard time with well, I, I think know it, that I appreciate you being every honest debt, about yeah. past present and future but I still have a hard time well that's kind of the mentality that we were it's, raised it's in, engraved so. in you yeah. it really is yeah you still feel like you have to prove something yeah well Travis guess what the time's gone um, Oh, well. That was wonderful, and I appreciate you. You're the first one that's ever sung well. on our program. So oh, really? That was wonderful. Great. And I look Great. forward to having others hear that. And Thanks a go lot. Go to your website. Thanks, me. Travis. Thanks a lot. Appreciate really your time. Appreciate it. And you are following the gospel of Joseph Smith, not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Good Mormons <laughs> to them. See ya.